Science I Am and welcome to Something Sciencey. For the first several episodes, our main topic is going to be parasites. Now some people will tell you that parasites are really gross, and other people will tell you all the cool things that they can do, but no one ever really stops and tells you why do they do all those cool things that they do. Well, our first episode is going to be about my personal favourite human parasite, Dracunculus medinensis, aka the guinea worm. But just to warn you, there is a graphic use of tissue paper. This is a female guinea worm. They grow up to one metre in length. The males, however, are a lot smaller. They grow to a maximum of four centimetres. Dracunculus can be found in four countries. Chad, Ethiopia, Mali and South Sudan. It used to live in many others, including Kenya and the Democratic Republic of the Congo, but due to its nature as a human parasite, has since been wiped out from these places. Mm, but enough of the boring stuff. The most interesting thing about a parasite is its life cycle. It all starts with Dracunculus larvae in the water. Little baby larvae in the water are eaten by a tiny crustacean called a copepod, or cyclops. Here, they'll grow to a stage situs called L3 larva. Dracunculus medinensis is an nematode, and like insects, they shed their skin to grow. L3 means they've shed their skin twice already, and in all parasitic nematodes found to date, the L3 stage is when the larvae is ready to infect the main host, which in this case is the human. Water containing these tiny infected crustaceans is then drunk by the main host, Although copepods can be seen in clear water, in the places where Dracunculus is found, often the water is cloudy with dirt, and so the crustaceans can't be seen. The worms take about a year to grow, and as they grow, they move to the end of your limbs, usually into the feet. The female worm lives just under the skin, in a blister caused by the worm producing all sorts of nasties. This makes the person want to put their feet in water to make the blister less sore. Of course, now the foot's in the water, the female is now exactly where she wants to be. She pokes her head out and releases up to 500,000 larvae. And now we're back where we started. Perhaps the most horrible thing about this worm is trying to get it out. First you have to get it to burst out of the blister. Ugh. And then you have to tug it out. A few centimetres every day. But don't pull it too quickly because then it'll snap. And if it snaps... You now have a dead worm living in your foot to go rotten under your skin. And trust me, that's not fun. Well, that's just gross. Although, here is an interesting fact. It takes exactly one year for the worm to grow into an adult. So when it comes out, it's always rainy season, meaning there's plenty of water around to release its babies. Pretty clever, huh? Hey, I hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe because the next episode is going to be a parasite that lives in frogs and that's going to be released on the first Thursday of the month. If you have any comments or questions then please write them in the comment box below and I will try my very best to answer them in a video that I'm going to release on the third Thursday of the month. But until then, I have written us all a little bit of a song about my favourite human parasite, Dracunculus medinensis. Dracunculus Thanks for watching. Bye.